Super Bowl champions, the New York Giants, begin the new NFL campaign against the Dallas Cowboys on Wednesday. Last season, Giants linebacker Matthias Kiwanuka played a key role in his team's title win. But as far as Ismail reports, his is no ordinary tale of sporting excellence. On one level, Matthias Kiwanuka is a typical American NFL success story. <laughs> a linebacker for the New York Giants, the reigning Super Bowl champions. But Kiwanuka's backstory is more complex than most. His roots are in Uganda and one of Africa's bloodiest chapters. Idi Amin. The name still strikes fear to anyone who knows the Uganda story. A bloody dictator, it's estimated he was responsible for the deaths of half a million of his own people. One of those killed was Matthias's grandfather, Benedicto Kiwanuka, the first ever prime minister of Uganda, an important figure in the country's move from British rule to independence. Benedicto was a passionate advocate of democracy and the rule of law, two principles that put him on a collision course with Idi Amin and ultimately led to his murder. Fearing they could be next, Matthias's parents fled Uganda and settled here in the United States. They'll tell you the story, but Matthias may have grown up a long way from Africa, but stories about Benedicto to were to shape this young American. Happened. First things that I remember hearing about were one of how good of a guy he was and like the little lessons that people would teach us like in my family, mainly about standing up for what you believe in and making sure that you do the right thing no matter who's watching. We get a lot of attention and notoriety for playing football, but the people who are really doing God's work, the people who really should be recognized, or people like my grandfather. Football, rather than politics, became Matthias's passion. He's now won two Super Bowls with the Giants, but this is one champion who will never take anything for granted. Only a few things would have had to change for me to have grown up in Uganda. So when I see, go back and I see my first cousins and I see um, the circumstances that they're in, I mean, it makes me appreciate what I have. Matthias last visited Uganda in 2009, and he plans to return there next year. But for now, he's focused on defending that Super Bowl title. It's tough to be the champion. You know, there's a target on your back every time you step on the field, no matter um, who you're playing. From the top to the bottom, every team's going to give you their best shot because everybody wants to knock off the champion. So we know we have our work cut out for us. Matthias' story is one that puts the pressure of being a sporting champion into healthy perspective. Far Ismail, Al Jazeera, New York.